Right now, LSU Army ROTC members are taking time to remember the many first responders who ran toward the danger on this day more than two decades ago. Right now, they're doing a Tiger Stadium stair climb to keep the names and stories of those heroes alive. Callie Hubbard joins us with a live look inside, and Callie, the sun is up. We see the movement. Good morning. Uh, good morning to you, Liz. Folks gathered here at 520 this morning outside of Tiger Stadium. We headed inside around 530, around 545 is when students, uh, we have sororities, fraternities, members of the community. We have first responders out here that have just uh, completed eight laps around Tiger Stadium here. So you can see there on this side, you can see some of the people with the, with the rec sacks uh, going up and down these stairs just to uh, just really embrace and, and honor uh, the lives lost, the families uh, in by 9-11 even 22 years later we can look on this side too on the other side of Tiger Stadium we still have people doing laps and we have Corps Commander Scott Scalia that has been doing the laps as well how are you feeling I'm feeling good I got two more laps to go and uh, I'm gonna complete it right after this but I'm feeling great yeah, when you look at the faces of, of these individuals as, the, as they walk toward us you can see you know they're out of breath and this just uh, just small example of what it means when we reflect back on 9-11 and we think about the, the lives lost. Yeah, it really, really says a lot that people can come out here this early in the morning and put, put their all into something like this that most people won't do, most people didn't do, but we had really had a great show out. LSU really supported this event. Mike the Tiger came out earlier and uh, looks like people had a really good time. We're about to take a group photo now that everyone's finishing. Yeah, you can see all the students and all the people that participated gathering up there. That just gives you a, a small um, taste of what we what we really saw here as people kind of gather in more and more folks joining in there. People on the other side of this TV screen, maybe if they didn't get up early this morning to do some stadiums, how can people remember those lives lost today? So just anyway, find your local gym, go outside, run, run a mile, you know, do anything, do a Murph. Uh, you can look that up, the exercises online. There's, there's so many ways you can support and do what you can to remember, remember the lives of those people on September 11th. Thanks so much for that. We'll let you get back to your, back to your laps there. And if you want to learn more about those events, you can find more on our 9 News app. Guys.